two persons were injured in a road accident in Srinagar district. A car collided with motorcycle in Nogam area. Two persons identified as Bilal Ahmed Sheikh and Javed Ahmed Butt were injured who were shifted to hospital in Srinagar for treatment. All parties Hurriyat conference spokesman in a statement issued in Srinagar said Kashmir is under Indian military siege and the continued Indian state terrorism and injustice facing the Kashmiris is an eye opener for the entire world community. The statement said that India's actions like turning the occupied Kashmir into a garrison, arresting hundreds of youth, subjecting general masses to mental and physical torture through crackdowns, search operations and frisking and putting barricades on the roads speaks volume about how New Delhi's moral and legal position in the occupied territory. APHC leaders and organizations including Ghulam Muhammad Khan Supori, Muhammad Yasin Atai Maulana Sajid Nadwi, jail leader Abdul Samad Inkalabi, Khadim Hussain, Sayyid Sipte Shabir Kummi and Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League in their statements paid glowing tributes to the victims of Kupwara massacre on their martyrdom anniversary today. Indian troops had killed 27 innocent Kashmiris on this day in 1994 to punish them for observing shutdown on the Indian Republic Day a day ago that year. Illegally detained rights activist Mohammad Hasan Unto in a letter addressed to the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres sought the attention of the world body in ending the miseries of the Kashmiri people. He said the Kashmiri people consider the UN Secretary General as the only hope for the redressal of their sufferings. The letter made a particular mention of the Gawakadal, Sopor, Handwara, Kupwara, Khaniyar, Bijbehara and Zakura massacres where Kashmiri people were killed in cold blood, women gang raped and the properties worth billions were torched. Massive protest demonstrations were held across Britain marking India's so-called Republic Day as Black Day. Kashmiris members of Sikh community and their allies participated in the protest demonstration pressing the UK government to intervene to halt the ongoing genocide in the occupied Jammu and Kashmir the demonstrations were held outside the Indian High Commission in London and Indian consulate in Birmingham Kashmir Council Europe also organized a protest camp in front of the EU foreign ministry in Brussels the capital of Belgium The protest was led by Chairman Ali Raza Sayed while the participants holding play cards called for the freedom of the Kashmiris from the Indian occupation.